just two and a half hours north from the city of Durban, is the town of St. Lucia. It was South Africa's first UNESCO World Heritage Site and for good reason. This town is surrounded by incredible wilderness and don't be surprised if you see hippos walking through town in search of grass. Well, I gotta say, I feel pretty funky with my zebra socks. past our first board warning us for wild animals here in the region of St. Lucia and it had a picture of an elephant on it so I definitely think that we are getting closer to our destination. So it turned into a three hour drive from Durban. We have now finally arrived at our bed and breakfast here in St. Lucia. I've already seen the first board saying, you know, be careful of hippos at night or be careful for hippos crossing the street. So we're definitely in the right place. The weather is looking absolutely beautiful. So it's also gonna be great weather for us to go and explore today. So one of the great attractions in St. Lucia are the estuary boardwalks. These are the boardwalks that go through the wetlands and along the beach and everything. And you'll find multiple articles and videos uh, about this estuary boardwalk. Unfortunately, due to the flooding, the boardwalks are actually closed at the moment. So we are just going to drive down to see what it looks like. Okay, so we found as we were driving down, we found this bit of the estuary boardwalk. Luckily, so we can actually go and have a little bit of a walk. But then a guy came running after us. Oh, wow, a crab. A guy came running after us to tell us that, hey, it is broken further along. Don't go into the broken parts across the river because obviously there are lots of crocodiles and hippos here. And from what I see on that board, apparently there are also leopards. So um, this could be quite an adventurous walk, guys. Okay, so this is where it is. Okay, so we found where the estuary boardwalk um, definitely is very visibly flooded. Uh, and yeah, obviously we're not going to go across uh, this path because this could be filled with crocodiles or whatever and it's a very easy target point. So it was a short walk and we'll walk back now. I, I think this would have been absolutely amazing if it was open because the boardwalk goes all the way through the wetlands down to the beach and apparently it, it used to be a very, very nice walk. But I'll show you guys what it looks like just to show you that you, you cannot go across it. out alive. <laughs> After grabbing a quick lunch on Mackenzie Street we have come back to our bed and breakfast. We had a quick dip in the pool and a little bit of the afternoon sun but now we're off to our next adventure. St. Lucia is home to the Isi Mangalisu Wetlands Park and this wetlands area stretches all the way from St. Lucia to the Mozambican border and in this area you can find the largest population of hippos and crocodiles now that is also what our next adventure is all about and you might think hey hippos are so cute but actually hippos amount to the most amount of deaths here in africa so even though they look cute they are very dangerous anyways we are going to go check them out that word is mangaliso that is the word of which means this is the place of miracles and wonder or maybe it's a wonderful site. And this is the big park, 332,000 hectares. So we're starting on the south of St. Lucia. There's a big dune we call Mapelan. We're stretching up along the coast until to the border of Mozambique. So we've made it onto our boat. We are going to be heading up north, up the river to find the hippos. Because the water is a little bit deeper and there have been floods, um, you know, the hippos are more upstream. So that is where we're going to be heading now. We've got our information briefing and all of that so we can get started. So we spotted, uh, spotted our first crocodile. This area is home to the Nau crocodiles, which are a different species compared to what I've been seeing in South America the uh, last few months. It's pretty amazing, but as soon as the boat gets too close, this crocodile goes straight down. So either you quickly see him or you totally miss him. So it's just a little brief um, view of it. Male in charge, that's a dominant male or an alpha male. A lot of females, a lot of babies, and a couple of young males. But those young males are not allowed mating. Hippos are semi aquatic animals and they are able to hold their breath for up to five minutes underwater. So, obviously, when hippo babies are ready, their mom teaches them how to swim. Babies can hold their breath for up to 30 seconds to start. 
Hippos block out water by completely closing their nostrils and ears, and this also helps babies when they are drinking milk from their mom underwater. Okay, well, we've spotted our first <laughs> group of hippos. What did you think, Mom? Loved it. It's pretty insane because the thing is they're so massive, and as soon as they're under the water, you don't even realize that they are there. So, you know, they're like really well hidden for such a big animal. It was pretty epic eh, to see the first, first group. So, we'll see if we can spot another bird. Unfortunately, like many animals, hippos also face some major threats. Where once they roamed most of sub-Saharan Africa, now their geographic area has become smaller as populations decline. The direct threats to hippos is the poaching of their ivory teeth and snaring for their meat. Of course, habitat loss due to human settlements, deforestation and pollution also contribute. So we've been lucky enough to also spot a baby female, which is really, really cute. So we've seen two full pods and then we've seen the odd hippo uh, here and there. I hope we can still find one more group before actually getting back because the tour only takes two hours and we're already like an hour and a half in. Exploring the Isi Mangaliso wetlands is incredible and you could take forever doing it. The wetland park is over 280 square kilometers and is the largest estuarine system in Africa. And besides being massive in size, it is also extremely biodiverse. More than 50% of all the water birds in the province of KwaZulu Natal feed and nest in the estuary. We have made it off the boat safely. This was a lot of fun, also learning about the hippos and about this wetland area. So definitely if you come into St. Lucia, this is a must. <laughs> you must definitely check it out. We've seen hippos before from a distance, but now getting up nice and close and seeing them in the water habitat was pretty cool. Also, hippos cannot define the difference between you and the big boat like that. They just see this huge big object and that is why they do not get aggressive in the water when you go on one of these boat tours. So definitely, definitely recommend it. So for the last part of this adventure, we're going to be doing a drive past different areas here in St. Lucia because we were advised that at night you have animals that obviously come out. Now they did tell us that the later the better, so around 11, half past 11, 12 at night, there's a bigger chance of seeing hippos and other sorts of wildlife. Um, but we're still going to take a chance. We have to get up early, really early tomorrow morning, actually. So it is now at around half past seven. So we're still going to do our drive. We're going to be going up to the Crocodile Center, through to the beach, down the beach road, excuse me, and then back into St. Lucia. So fingers crossed we can spot uh, some type of animals, especially hippos, because this is when they come out, you know, into the evening to come and find grass to eat here. So let's hope we find some. Taking on the fresh evening air and the dark to spot hippos was rather exciting. Hippos are most active at night. This is when they come out to forage for food. They are herbivores and eat mostly grass. In one night, they are able to eat up to 35 kgs of grass. But if you decide to go looking for hippos at night, do stay in your car and keep a respectable distance. They are called Africa's most dangerous animal for a reason. So we haven't spotted anything just yet. We're now on the beach road, but there are so many stars. There's hardly any light pollution here. So you can just imagine what the sky looks like. It's just covered and covered in stars. Didn't see any hippo, but I have spotted about, I don't know how many cats this is. Boom, boom, boom. And another one. Hi. Can we just say hello? Yeah, I'm a crazy cat lady. We've made it back to the bed and breakfast and unfortunately we haven't found any hippos on our night drive. I think that we probably just left way too early to do that because on the boats you already advised to, you know, check out a hot 11, 12, you know, the later the better. So yeah, unfortunately we didn't see. We have to wake up early because we're going to Sisluwe on Falozi tomorrow morning and that's why we can't go back later. A lot of people that come to St. Lucia are actually on their way to this reserve as well. So it's usually a stopping ground and there's a lot of things to do around here. Uh, anyways, I think today has been such a great day because we got to see the hippos in their natural water environment and, you know, telling by all the signs that are around this village is that hippos definitely do come roaming at night and we have been warned by a lot of people here that hippos do roam at night. So I definitely think this is one wild town and I'd love to come back at some point to actually go on one of these night drives and go see and explore the nighttime adventures that are to offer here. 
anyways guys i'm off to bed because like i said it's an early wake up tomorrow morning and yeah i'll see you on the next adventure